Like a giant blender. Like a friggin' giant blender, man. Ooh. Keep watching. As always, rated M for Mature. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davy. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. What a wonderful start. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Grand Theft Auto 5. Just got a call from our good buddy Davey, who, uh, who wants to have a little chat. And uh, also wants, apparently, Trevor out of the picture. Which is not very good for Michael, to be fair, because even though Trevor's a loose cannon and there's a lot of bad blood between Trevor and Michael, they're still friends. And they're still planning on pulling off one last score. Now, before I proceed, I'm going to show you where I'm going. First off, I am going to go up here to the clothes store <laughs> because I'm going to get me some new clothes. Then I'm going to do a parachute jump because, to be honest, we still have quite a few left. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. And then after that, we're going to head over to the Epsilon program um, where we can... Uh, get started on whatever the crap this is. Now, we just got a, um, a new update as of, I think, today. It's the High Life update, but um, even though most of the, the stuff that, that happens is, is to the online mode, there's actually a new menu they added to single player. If you hold back, just like um, if you were in online mode, now there's an interaction menu. You can do quick GPS to other places, you can actually access your inventory. So if you have um, glasses, you can instantly put them on. Glasses, masks, um, and hats. But I don't own any hats. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to go back home to put on your sunglasses. I'm not going to wear my sunglasses at night because I'm not Corey Hart, but I will go get some new duds at the discount store. Do this to me. Whoa. Robbery. Call the cops. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Got him. That's one way to do it. If you retrieve a stolen item, yeah, I can do that no problem. Probably didn't expect you <laughs> to have a sticky bomb thrown on this car. Okay, but everything is like... You be careful here, there's fire everywhere. Where's the... Where's the item? Okay, careful. Got it. I, d I wanted to be careful not to, like, walk into the fire. Hey, buddy, I could probably just drive to you, but whatever. Yeah, I'm coming. Hey, how's it going? I think this is yours. I, I can't thank you enough. My boss would have killed me. And that would have been truly awful. Cool. All right, well, uh, now that we're here at the discount store, let's, uh, let's run across here and see if we can find us some new duds. I think I look pretty dang good. Got myself some new shorts, new sandals. Uh, I got myself a nice little... What? White polo and some new glasses. Yeah, I'm looking nice. All right, now let's go do that parachute jump. Whoa, whoa, what's going on right here? Hold it right there. Hey, 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 hey. What, who, what the balls? I'm authorized to Get engage. out the oh, fucking way. Hands up high. On your knees, too. Now, move and I will blow your brains out. I appreciate the help, buddy. I'll take it from here. Best we don't mention any of this on the paperwork. Yeah, of course not. This Should is I Officer Lewis. Suspect apprehended and requesting backup. Over. Move along, sir. This is police business. Okay. Did I do it? Did I help? Should I have, like, shot him? Is that what they... Is this still going? Is he going to run again? This is interesting because, like, this sort of thing happens a lot, but it's not an event. Vacate the area. I know, but you guys are still flashing on my blip. This is a crime scene. Yes. Okay, well, don't, like, friggin' arrest me over this. I'll be pissed. I'm just saying. 
So what happens? They get in the vehicle, then what? Then it's over. Okay, well that was that was an interesting little anecdote. Let's go over here to the chopper okay, man, and do a jump. It's next level time. We're going up to knock on heaven's door. Well sweet! Let's uh let's give it a good knock. I'm probably not gonna be wearing I'm probably gonna be wearing like parachute gear after this though. Ah, Eh, whatever. It was nice while it lasted. Fall of the Alamo. Alright, nothing can go wrong. Well, lots could go wrong. Jump! Parachute through the checkpoints. Pull the chute. Woo! Okay, how many how many checkpoints we got? <laughs> Press Y to ditch parachute. Nah, I prefer living, thanks. Uh, actually, looks like we have quite a few here. Maybe whenever I'm done, I can actually land closer to the Epsilon mission to, to get it started. And no, I didn't switch to parachute gear. I think the only time I ever had to do that was when I was controlling Franklin for, like, the very first one, or... Maybe it wasn't even the first one. Maybe it was, um, when we had to meet on top of the maze bank. Because otherwise, I don't think I've ever had to. I just can kind of do my own thing. All right, let's be careful here. Got it. And then suddenly it's behind me. Oh, God! Sharp turn, sharp turn, sharp turn, sharp turn, sharp turn, sharp turn. I need to... I don't... I was going to say I don't see where it is right now. Woo! I'm going to be able to do fine there. That's the first time we've ever had, like, a 180-degree turn that we had to do with these parachute jumps. I think this is really cool, though. Um, and it's also nice that not only are all of these here and they're fun and different and, and enjoyable, but after you do them, from what you guys are telling me, you unlock another mission, which is pretty sweet. Because the Dom missions arguably have been some of the best in the game just because they've been so crazy and out there in a good fun way. Um, the Epsilon program is also crazy and out there, but it's not always <laughs> it's not always that fun. Uh, recently we had to wear the Epsilon robes for 10 days straight, and that took like, like 40 minutes or so of just getting in and out of bed. And I mean, I sped that up for you guys, which is great, but... For me, I had to sit there for like 40 minutes getting in and out of the bed. Supposedly, you can do that just, you know, playing the game and let 10 days go by. But there's a risk that if something happens where either you, one of your characters has to switch or sometimes if your character dies, they'll change clothes apparently. So everyone, you know, that I was reading online said it's a lot safer if you just get in and out of the bed. Okay, there's the drop zone. Coming in pretty hot. Careful. Careful, careful, and wait for it, we got it, bam, that was nice, cool, perfect, 570 bucks for doing that too, uh, unfortunately it did not put us exactly where we need to be, so we're going to have to get a vehicle and go back over to the Epsilon program, but that's no problem, let's go do that now, oh god, oh, well, that is not how I wanted that to end. I think I was driving just a little too fast, so that's going to cost me $5,000. Alrighty, so where are you guys this time? At this random shack, this random trailer. Michael needs to wear... <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh my god, I came all this way out here and I'm not wearing the right clothes. I didn't even know that Matt... Well, you have to go all the way back. You have to go all the way back home in order to change your clothes. Oh, God. I had no idea that I was... That I had to do that. That's... A tad bit upsetting. God, if we're going to go all the way back home, I might as well do a mission that's closer to home. I think I'm going to head back and do the Solomon mission. I guess we'll save the Epsilon one for... Maybe next episode. Crap! God, I wish I would have known that before I came all the way out here. Lacey! Lacey! What? Lacey? I hate it when they play cool. Oh, hell of a what's going on down here? Hey, Hello? Hey, you! Get over here! Hey, what's up? Can you give me a ride past them, please? I'm hardly wearing any makeup! Sure. sure. Come on, get in, quick. Lacey, huh? Oh, shit! Here they come! Go, go, go! Lose them! I'm trying to lose them. Excuse hey, me. <laughs> Get out the fucking God. way. Oh, God. Ah! 
Dogon. Paparazzi. I got you. I got you. This is a disaster. I am so fucking fat. Oh my god, they cannot get a shot of me. How's my hair? Do I look cute? Why don't oh. we worry about the gang of lunatics mm. chasing you first? No. Oh. Do you want me to kill him? Because I could probably kill him real easy. They're like. crazy. What the hell did you do? I'm really famous. I didn't do anything. This is my average commute. So who are you anyway? Who am I? Uh, hello. Take another look. Okay. Uh, looks like we lost them. Oh, thank God. Now, would you be a total sweetheart and give me a ride back to the hills? What a day! What am I, your chauffeur now? Oh, pretty please, I can't walk home! Most men would kill for this opportunity. I never no, heard who you like, were. seriously, I totally appreciate this. Do you want me to put your kids through college or something? Wow. <laughs> I consider it my good deed for the day. My kids aren't really academic types. Besides, a 90-pound celebrity against an army of paparazzi doesn't seem like very fair odds to me. Ugh, please. I'm such a fat little piggy right now. Ugh, too many french fries. I mean, I mostly just suck on them and spit them into a bucket, but that's still probably like a hundred calories. God. The media love their little Macy Jonas jokes. All that, she's a skeleton, give that girl a sandwich. Lameness. Whatever, I bet they're all total hippos. When I get home, I'm like totally gonna suck all my personal trainers. Uh, whatever floats your boat. Never did get your name, but you're Jonas something. Lacey Jonas? Uh, what I'd give to have a normal life for one day. This is me. Thanks for saving me from those awful paps. You're such a sweetie. No problem. Always here to help. Are you actually going to go in your house? Because, like, no one ever does. Wait, are you actually going to go in your house? Because I'm coming. I want to also go in your house. Hey. Do you mind if I get a photo? Hello, sweetheart. Hi. Hey, what's up? You good, or... I'm just gonna grab a quick photo here. Hope Thanks you don't mind. again, but I think we should both get back to our own worlds now. Aw, well that's not very nice. And that's a pretty good photo. I'm gonna upload that to my gallery. All right, thank you, Lacey. It was great meeting you. Thank you for the $750. I have had enough holdups. I really gotta get to Solomon now. God, that was cool. All right, but seriously, Solomon. I think I'm done with this car. Oh, it's had some issues, and uh, I don't know how repairable it is. Let's uh, let's instead go inside and focus on the Solomon mission. Then whenever I... If I have to drive somewhere, I can certainly just take one of the cars in the lot. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. And <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? 
At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Man. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog. God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ha 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 ha. And they're take a nice car talks. here. That's it. Alright, get to the airport and find Molly. This looks nice. Woohoo! Sleek yellow. <laughs> Reference to Chad Warden. Let's get out of here. Ugh! This is a nice fast car. That guy on the sidewalk almost got creamed. Certainly, they're not going to let me drive this entire way. I'm going to get a, yeah a call. There we go. Slow it down, slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not gonna stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Oh no, I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's police chatter right now where they're calling all available cars to escort Molly, whatever her name is, to the airport. So this is going to be a good time. This is going to be a very good time. Oh, I am going to have a heck, heck of a time with this. All because I want to get that dug on. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry about that. Don't What's call the police. Doing? Oh, where is she? Shop, there is no need to panic. The LSPD are here to escort you to the hangar. Okay. Oh, now I'm wanted. Well. Oh, goodness, I'm on the news. Ah! Oh, shoot, I should probably watch the road. Oh, dear God. There Two stars. No need to drive erratically. Please calm down. What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What the? What's she doing? Holy shit. What the boss is going on? Jesus Christ! Oh God, be careful of those things. What the boss is going on? Jesus, watch out! You crazy cop! The shots you're endangering yourself and my fellow officers. Why is she telling me she's gone crazy? What is she doing? This doesn't make any sense. And why am I out here? <laughs> I'm gonna get myself killed! Okay, is there a plane landing? There's a plane landing! <gasps> Fart! I was, I was about to say, I'm lucky that didn't kill me, and then it killed me. Frickin' cop cars flying in the air. Alright, let's stay over here in the dirt this time, because things are about to go insane with these stupid cars in the way! That is how I got killed last time. Not this time. Woo wee! Watch out, that cop might be flipping towards me soon too. God! Yeah. This is so ridiculous! I mean, to be fair, like every freaking mission is crazy, but like, why is. Ah. Uh, I'm good. I'm good! Wow, that could have went a lot worse. But I'm okay, my car's still functioning. Not as good as it certainly could, but alright. Actually, no, I, I'm having a hard time pulling left. A hard time pulling left. Oh, shoot! I'm having to use my e brake in order to make turns. That's not that great. Did she stop? He wants to kill me! He wants to kill me! I don't want to kill you. I thought we stepped. On the floor, lady! On the fucking floor! Check the gun! God, I didn't want it to end like this. Alright, let's follow her in there. I'm not a murderer! Stop! Look out! Where'd she go? 
Well then, did she know that I wasn't gonna kill her? Ah, that was nasty and needless. Nope. Nope. Is he dead? Now he's. Well, there's a real quick, easy way to get out of this, and that is fly, and that is what I'm doing. Oh dear Christ Almighty! Go, baby, go! Go, baby, go! Oh my god, no! Don't you destroy my wings, you sons of guns! <laughs> oh my god, it's too good! But how the balls am I gonna get out of this? I got three stars. I'm faster than choppers. I should be good. You are in restricted airspace. Divert your course or you will be shot down. I'm losing my stars. Holy crap, where am I supposed to land, man? What am, I, what am I doing? I stole a jet! Jesus! I mean, Franklin has stolen a jet once before, I do remember that. Man, I don't... I don't even know what to do. I'm just gonna fly until I lose these stars and hope I make a phone call. And also, I'm having some issues with one of my, uh, one of my... Uh-oh. No, that's not good, that's not good. Come on, come on. Okay, good. No one knows where I am. I think I'm having some problems with my with my plane here. I, I don't want to think about that, but I, I actually think that... Are we good? Mission passed. I did it. I got it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but I got it. Okay. Great. Let's just... Uh, let's see. Where's my house from here? My house is... Uh, let's, hold on, let me just make sure I know where I am. I'm like, I was gonna say, I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close from here, okay. All I gotta do is fly over my house. Oh, I'm gonna make a call to Solomon. I thought I would. I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out uh -oh. before they can screw us again. Uh -oh. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? Um, they can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of um, course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. It's going down. I'll get ready. It was going an down. American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Start up, you piece of shit. We're jumping! Oh, God, I hate to land on the golf course like this. Where's that... Where's that? I was gonna say, where's that jet going? Hmm. I think I might have destroyed some of the golf course. Well, you win some, you lose some, you destroy some planes. That's gonna be it for this episode. Quite an explosive land. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Just because I, I crashed an entire jet onto the golf course? Come on. That kind of crap happens all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna hide out here. They're not gonna find me up here. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Grand Theft Auto 5. Jesus, what a day. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Jesus. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. Oh. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Kifla. Now, are you ready to right the tract? Kifla. Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter.